This is the video lesson for Work and Energy Lab. The learning intention for this lesson is, I am learning to analyze the work energy theorem by conducting a lab investigation on pivot interactives. The success criteria for this lesson are, I can use the built-in tools in pivot interactives to make measurements of the displacement and time of a cart pulled by a spring. I can determine the work done by the spring on the cart and I can determine the velocity of the cart. Okay, so let's look at part one of the lab, which is learning to make measurements with the lab apparatus. So for the first part of the lab, you're gonna use the spring stretch ruler, which is the longer of the two rulers, which you have available to use, to measure the length of the stretched out spring. And there's gonna be a, a video at the end of this slide, which shows you exactly what to do. You're going to use these parameters when you're loading the video. So you're going to use a mass of 602 grams. You're going to use the spring stretch video one, and the video view is going to be spring spread, uh, spring stretch. So uh, again, there's going to be a video following this slide, which walks you through exactly how to do this part. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is measure the spring stretch on this video. So we need to change our view of the video. So we're going to first click on change down here. And we're going to click on spring stretch. So we're doing the 602 grams and we're going to look at spring stretch one. So we have spring stretch and hit load. And that brings up the correct video. Now we want to open up the tools here. So we're going to click on this little guy and we want the spring stretch ruler, which is this one. So now we have the spring stretch ruler up and we are going to see how far the spring stretches. So we want to move the ruler here to where the zero on the ruler is at the uns is at the beginning of the unstretched spring. And we're going to play the video until the string the spring has been stretched okay there we go so the spring is stretched out fully now and we can see from the ruler that the spring has been stretched to about six and a half centimeters so that is what we're going to answer on this first question you scroll down here so what value did you measure from the spring stretch six and a half centimeters and we got the correct answer. So part one continued, learning to make measurements with the apparatus. So for this part, you're gonna use the motion ruler, which is the shorter ruler, to measure the distance the cart moves after the spring returns to its unstretched length. So this is the important part here. So you're gonna wait until the cart moves far enough so that the spring is no longer stretched to begin making your measurements. And the parameters that you're gonna use are similar to the first one. Uh, so you're gonna use a mass of 602 grams. You're gonna use the spring stretch one video. And for the video view, this time you're gonna use release instead of spring stretch. And we're gonna watch a video after this slide, uh, which walks you through exactly how to do this measurement as well. All right, so now we're gonna measure how far the car goes after it's been released and how uh, quickly it goes there. So we're gonna change the, our video view to the release view. We're going to open wrong ruler. We're gonna open the release ruler. So it's a much smaller ruler and we're gonna open the timer. So we have the stopwatch and we have the release ruler. So we are going to play the video until the string gets uh, loose. So at a certain point, the, the spring gets, uh, goes back all the way until it is, until it is, okay, there we go. So the spring you can see is no longer tight. So that's the point at which we wanna start measuring. So we're gonna set the zero on the ruler at the little green dot that the doll is holding. And we're gonna reset the clock, the stopwatch. And we're gonna start playing until 
the cart has gone a good distance. Go there, and I'm just going to move it until it's at about 20 centimeters. A little bit more. There we go. So it's gone about 20 centimeters, and it has uh, taken about 0 0.470833 seconds. So what we want to do is figure out what the velocity is. So if you remember that the velocity is the change in distance or the change in displacement divided by the change in time. So I'm just going to do a little calculation here. So I'm going to do 20 centimeters, 20 divided by this change in time, so 0 0.4 seven zero eight three three which gives us a, a velocity of 42.47 or 42.5 and if we scroll down here uh, let's see I did something wrong nope nope looking for velocity there we go. So we see here about 42 centimeters per second, which is what we have. And it says, well done. So that's the correct velocity.